the evolution of clogging as I know it. So when we first learned clogging, we learned the first thing we learned is called a run or a double step, which has three sounds to it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. From there we had two sounds called a rock step. Sounds like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So we put double steps and rock steps together and we make a bass, which has five sounds. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. From here, once we learned this and we mastered the basics, then buff dancing became popular. Buff dancing came in and they changed the, a basic clock from five sounds, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, to a seven sound basic buff. So we added a heel and a toe to it, and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so these are basic buffs. But we have basics, so we have basics. Basic buck. Then, from here, Canadian stud dancing, our friends from Canada came down. Woo! Woo -hoo. Canada, Canada. So, anyway, they brought in Canadian stud dancing. Canadian basics, as we do them in clogging, also have seven sounds like a buck. And they sound like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have basic Canadian, basic buck, or basic clogs, and we always go back to the basics because it's easiest to talk through. So back sometime before that, flat footing became popular. Flat footing had an influence. Flat footing basics sounds like so we have our basics, basic buff, Canadian, flat footing. So we go back to the basics. From here, after that, river dance became a craze. So, Irish step dancing influence had a part in the body. And I don't know how many sounds are in an Irish basic, but an Irish basic sounds like this. So we have basics, basic buck, Canadian, Flat-footed, Irish. Then, sometime in there, double doubles came out. And double doubles were in everything. Now, we talked about this earlier, but a double double should sound like, should be a nice even rhythm, whether you're doing it on double doubles. Singles, one foot, but double doubles should always sound the same. But we go back to the six. Now, another form of progressive dance, tap dancing. I'm not a tap dancer. I know one thing. We do something you might be familiar with. The Adam Smelling. But the course. <laughs> <laughs> 